Please clap. Please clap. What, why am I saying please clap for? Well, I'm not mentioning uh, little Jeb Bush. No, no. This has nothing to do with Jeb Bush. This has everything to do with our sitting president. Now, I have to ask this question again. Is there anybody in Joe Biden's family that might, I don't know, sign up, kind of, sort of, maybe love him? This is elder abuse, okay? I look at this, and I think this does not inspire strength. This does not inspire enthusiasm. Vote blue no matter who. Do you guys really think old man Biden has what it takes to be your dog in the fight? Probably not. Because 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 you don't got that Costco dog in you, you just don't. So let's go ahead and pull up this video here. Shout out again to Hotspot. I'm I'm actually. This pains me to play this video. This hurts to watch, because this is an old man who's clearly out of his element. Never forget, America is the strongest when we lead not only by our example of our power, but by the power of our example. You can clap for that. Okay, you can clap for that. Say that again one more time, Biden. Never forget, America is the strongest when we lead not only by our example of our power, but by the power of our example. You can clap for that. <laughs> Never forget, America is the strongest when we lead not only by our example of our power, but by the power of our example. You can clap for that. So what does that lead to when you hear stuff like that? Because this is the, what, what I just played isn't anything new. Hell, it's tame compared to what I've played on the show in the past of Biden's gaffes, his stutters, his mistakes, him falling down, all that stuff, all of that. But as you all know, the DNC convention is coming here to Chicago. But apparently there's now more talk about Biden leaving the ticket. So Representative Jared Musseritz said in a Sunday interview that pollster Nate Silver's suggestion, remember Nate Silver, he used to be of some relevance, that President Biden leaves the presidential ticket is ridiculous at this stage in the election cycle. No, it's not a conversation worth having, he went on to say. Nate Silver, who found the prominent polling site 538, just because he got that one hit was Obama. Like, people have been revering him like a god. Said in a recent podcast interview that Biden, the presumptive Democratic no uh, candidate for president, should consider leaving the Democratic ticket if its polling numbers don't improve by August. Good luck. No, he's going to go all the way through, but we'll see. Biden and former President Trump, the presumptive GOP presidential nominee, have been neck and neck with each other in recent months. The latest national polling average from the Hill and Decision Desk HQ shows Trump with a one-point lead over Biden in a head-to-head -head match, a lead was in most polls' margins of error. However, a recent set in New York Times and Siena College polls of Battleground State showed Trump leading in five of six, which Silver said could pretend trouble for Biden. Uh, Mercerus, who pushed back on any doubt over who should be deleting the party's ticket in, in the Sunday interview. Nate, thanks for your participation. This is ridiculous. We're well past that conversation. President Biden is going to be the nominee. We're going to have our convention, and he's going to win in November. This is going to be between two people. To which I must pull this down. Okay, we know, first of all, from previous articles and stories being posted on by other sources and other independent media outlets that Biden is losing in key battleground states. These are the states that have the most electoral college votes. These are the states in which, again, Trump could potentially lead. And more importantly, we'll once again prove that we here at Hardland's Media, we called this out, that if Biden was going to be the nominee again in 2024, that there's a very good chance he could lose. And I remember saying this way back in 2016 when Hillary Clinton was the nominee. And I said to people, hey, there's a 50-50 chance that Hillary Clinton can lose to Donald Trump. And before anyone types in the comment section below about, oh, well, what about 2020 when Biden beat Trump? Just barely. Just barely he beat Trump. That's nothing to be proud of. People had to be bullied and harassed and threatened and made to feel bad because they wouldn't vote for Biden. So vote blue no matter who pulled out all the stops, the guilt, the guilt campaign to make people feel guilty. And it's not working anymore because look what's happening under Biden. Because 
Remember, in 2020, the Democrats were all saying that we'd be in wars, we'd have economic instability, Americans would be struggling day in, day out just to make ends meet, the kids would still be in cages, so much madness, infrastructure falling apart. And all of that happened under Biden, not Trump. The reason why you're struggling right now is, again, the failed policies of the Biden-Harris administration. And the Democrats, in theory, did have an opportunity to do the right thing. They could have implemented some progressive policies to make our lives better. They, they could have chosen to be better. But Biden and his administration chose not to. And those who are part of the progressive left, like AOC, like Bernie Sanders, gave Biden a pass. They didn't fight for us for forced to vote. They didn't fight for us for the uh, March for Medicare for All. They didn't fight for us for the uh, w w minimum wage increase. They're not fighting for workers. They're not fighting for us to have actually peace in our time. So much corruption is happening under Biden. I want to pull up this video again just one more time. This, 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 this is our president, the leader of the free world, folks. Brace yourself. Brace yourself again. Please clap. Never forget, America is the strongest when we lead not only by our example of our power, but by the power of our example. You can clap for that. You can clap for that, eh? Let's go and pull on with the rest of this article here. Let's go and check this out. The way I look at the election is, do you want Trump back or do you not? That's the crux of the issue. So that's the issue. If you're a woman's, uh, if, if, if you're for a woman's right to choose, you won't be voting for President Trump. To which I have to say, Roe v. Wyatt died under who? Did it die under Biden or did it die under Trump? And before anyone says, well, wait a minute, those judges were selected by Trump. Well, the Democrats could have prevented that. If Obama actually wanted to, he could have put pushed forward and have his nominee. Uh, yes, he would have been a neoliberal uh, nominee, but he would have been a okay for the Democrats if he pushed it through. Uh, maybe if he actually used his power to tell Ruth Bader Ginsburg to resign, because let's face it, she was frail and old and dying anyways. She should have stepped aside, but she didn't because everyone assumed that Hill Dog had it in the bag. And everyone assumed that Joe Biden would make America, would turn its soul back. You know, it, 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 wouldn't, it wouldn't make America uh, all great again and good again. No, Biden, Biden didn't deliver. And I said he wouldn't deliver. But because you have nutless wonders like Bernie Sanders and you have frauds like AOC promoting this BS, promoting these lies, which it, what, what, what this should tell you is that Biden and the Democrats are in deep trouble. Their ship is sinking. They don't have what it takes. They never will. And that won't be the first or last time we see Biden making another stutter and making another gaffe, saying, hey, please clap, please clap, please clap. No one's paying attention, Biden. No one's paying attention, Democrats. We see your weakness. Everyone sees it. And if the Democrats were actually smart, they would actually pick a different nominee because Biden can't do it. Every day he speaks, voters see his weakness. Every day he talks, voters hear him being a frail old man. Every time he's walking about, it doesn't show a confident man. It shows a weak man. Who's in charge of this administration? Is it the vice president? Is it his staff? Who's telling the president what to do? Does the president even make any decisions anymore? We also know that, yes, he has underlying health issues. The man has a CPAC machine. And look, I get it. Hey, the older you get, you have some breathing issues. But this doesn't. Bring in the confidence for the American people. And when you have a president so frail and old, who in their right mind is going to vote for somebody like that? Only a diehard vote blue, no matter who person, because they're triggered by Trump. I said that Trump was going to run again in 2024. Now, Nate Silver might be on to something that maybe, maybe if the Democrats are smart, they'll pick a different nominee. But when's the last time you saw a Democrat do something smart? No, seriously, type. I'll wait because I haven't seen it. 